The UW-Madison is confirming all 14 students studying in Japan this semester are safe. And for those students in Madison with family in Japan, the devastation is magnified by the uncertainty of their safety tonight. The night team's Maria Guerrero spoke with one UW professor desperate to find out about her family in Japan. Maria. I mean, you can just imagine seeing those images and your family is there, such incredible images. There are 82 Japanese students here at the UW-Madison plus faculty. A professor is sharing her frantic attempt today to reach her parents via text message earlier. Maybe two, three minutes later, I just received one line message saying, we are okay, and lots of things fall down, and then so the, the rooms are messy, but we are okay. No electricity, though, and then so no heat and no light. Professor Junko Mori's parents live in their 70s, live north of Tokyo. Thankfully, they are safe. She is relying on Japanese news and social media like Skype to check in on her family and as well as the UW-Madison students studying abroad. Mori says her country's recovery will be long and difficult. This is devastating for the future of Japan because even before this, we have had so much problems in terms of political uncertainty and economic uncertainty and everything. And then added to that, those um, problematic situations, dealing with this disaster is going to be a big challenge for Japan, I think. Professor Mori is already planning, was already planning a trip to Ibaraki, Japan to see her folks in May. She tells me she is going to try and make that trip, especially with what happened there today. We also want to add that the UW has sent tsunami warning information to students studying in Ecuador, Peru, and Chile because they're obviously... Lots affected. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Maria, thanks a lot.